Action Aid Nigeria, the country's arm of a non-governmental organization, has stepped up its efforts, its campaign towards building patriotism, selflessness, and a culture of integrity among Nigerian youths in particular, and all Nigerians by extension. The organization said it is worried by rising cases of criminality, especially following the recent incidents of arrest and listing of 77 Nigerians among suspects of global internet fraud in the United States. Now, joining me from Abuja, the, st the studio, to discuss this issue is a social mobilization manager, Adewale Adeluto. Hello, Adewale. Hello, um, when, when you, you see, you know, you hear some of these stories about Nigerians being listed as, you know, criminals abroad um, and they are suspects in, in different parts of the world. I mean, what do you think the challenge is? What is the problem here? Uh, number one, the challenge basically is because Nigeria has not been able to maximize the uh, effect of the bulging youth and its... Um, demographic dividends for the country. Uh, you cannot um, make people to exist in a state of vacuum. So the essence of, the, of what we have today is because the country has not positively engaged the young people the way they should be engaged. And that is why we have this fallout, which is quite embarrassing for all of us, because the backlash on our image, our integrity, and how we move on in the community of nation is quite not impressive, it is embarrassing, and until we begin to engage young people to invest in their education, to invest in the morality of young people, to also ensure that they are creatively engaged so that they can take informed decisions about their well-being, uh, we will still suffer more of this kind of embarrassment. Okay, we are also quick to celebrate wealth. Um, without any form of background check. Uh, is this also an issue of unemployment or that of morality? Uh, it is both. Uh, first, I will say that the country, we have lost our moral direction. Our, the, the value system in the country is quite washed down and it's something we have to do uh, a lot of things quickly about. On the other hand, it is always said that an idle man is a devil's workshop. You cannot keep an army of young people unemployed and expect them not to channel their potentials and energy into other form of things that they can make a life for themselves. The truth of the matter is that you cannot but have this kind of situation when you have an army of unemployed young people and you are not doing anything about that basically as much as possible, they are going to channel the skills, the knowledge they have into other forms of engagement. And that is what has happened. All right. Thank you so much, Adewali.